Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a system of equations for integer solutions. We have xy plus z equals 2020 and x plus yz equals 2021. And we're looking for integer solutions, so you can call this a Diophantin system if you want. So let's go ahead and take a look at these equations. First thing I notice is that xy and yz are products and x and z are kind of like individual terms. And we do have two numbers that differ by one. So that kind of tells me that I should be subtracting these two equations because that's going to give me one. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's subtract x minus x plus yz minus xy plus z. And the difference will be one. Now I'm going to expand it. x plus yz minus xy minus z equals one. Now, I would like to factor this. Now, one reason I want to subtract those equations is, you know, I want to make it factorable because factoring plays an important role in Diophantine equations and systems in number theory as well. So I, I'd like to take these uh, two terms, so put it together, take out x, 1 minus y, and then these two will give me z times the quantity y minus 1 equals one. It's important to get one on the right hand side because one only has so many factors. So one minus y and y minus one. So we can just go ahead and negate the second term. So let's go ahead and do this. I want to put a negative sign here with the x so that I can make this y minus one. And the second one is going to stay the same. Then now since we have y minus one as a common factor, let's just go ahead and write it as z minus x. I just interchange those two terms and this equals one. Now this is significant because one can only be factored into one times one and negative one times negative one. So we're looking at two cases. Let's take a look at case number one. So case number one is if y minus one is equal to one. That also implies that z minus x equals one. So one times one equals one. Great. So y equals two from here. Now Obviously, I would like to find x and z as well, but I only got one equation. We can go to the original ones and see if we can replace y with 2. And I'd like to use the second equation. The second equation is x plus yz is equal to 2021. If you replace y with 2 here, you get x plus 2z, or not 2z, well, it didn't fit, equals 2021. And let's go ahead and solve this system by elimination. So I would like to add these two equations. X cancels out. We get 3z equals 2022. Divide both sides by 3. You get z equals 674. Since z and x differ by 1, x is smaller. x is going to be 673. So this gives us the order pair 673 comma 2 comma 674. Okay, let's look at the second case. If y minus 1 is equal to negative 1. This implies that y is equal to 0, which is kind of nice, because now we can plug it into both of our equations and see what we get from there. If y is equal to 0, from the first equation I'm getting z equals 2020. And from the second equation, if y equals 0, I'm getting x equals 2021. And this just gives us another, another ordered triple. And that is 2021, comma, 0, comma, 2020. And since 1 cannot be factored in any other way, we don't really get any other solutions from here. So our solution set is going to look like the following. Let's put it together. We got two solutions, 673, comma, 2, comma, 674 is one of the order triples. The other one is 2021, comma, 0, comma, 2020. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.